Hey guys, it's Pastor Jim from Lighthouse Mission, and you're probably wondering, what's with all these sneakers and shoes? Well, one of the biggest requests we get each year from local school districts is for sneakers. Because what happens is families can't afford to buy shoes for their kids, and these little kids have to sit on the side, and they can't participate in gym. While reading my Bible, where Jesus was washing the feet of the disciples, God put it up upon my heart is, hey, Jim, why don't you go and put sneakers on the, on the feet of these kids? Lighthouse Mission, as you know, we're not a church, so we don't have a collection each week, so we can't afford to do this. But with God, all things are possible, and this is where you come in. We don't want to give kids shoes that look like this. We want to give kids shoes that look like this. Good quality shoes that are going to last them the whole year. So here's how the program is going to work. We need you to collect funds, not sneakers. I know that a lot of people want to go out and buy sneakers for the kids, because that's totally cool, and I would want to do that too. But in this particular case, we're going to buy specific sizes from a specific vendor, and they're going to give us a discounted price. So we need to collect funds. We need about $20 per pair of sneakers. So if you're willing to help us be the hands and feet of Jesus, go to our website, www.lighthousemission.net, go to the PayPal link, and send us some funds. Or you can just send us a check at 1543 Montauk Highway, Bellport, New York. The Bible says, true and lasting religion in the sight of God our Father is this, and that's to help the widows and orphans in need. This is America. And one of the things that doesn't sit well with me is seeing little kids standing on the side of the road waiting for the bus with shoes that are falling apart with holes in them. We can make a difference. And not only can we make a difference, when we put the shoes on the feet of each child that comes, they're going to get a chance to hear about the gospel of Jesus. The real thing, the only thing that could change our life is the gospel. So we love you. More specifically, God loves you. And like I say each and every time, man, I can't wait to see what God's going to do next. God bless you.